What's up? It's me, Mr. B, and we about to start raging! Alright, so the beginning of this game went really well. Hardly any generators been touched. I got two people down. <coughs> and I get two people hooked. This is the first game I want to show you. It's just a quick rundown on why the state of the game is at the lowest. Like with the perk wise. Perk wise. This is just perk wise. This is, has nothing to do with the pipping system, which is terrible. That's the second game, which is the full game. Alright, so we see this cocksucker, and he is a cocksucker. He's a little bitch. You'll see why. And a fucking retard. Okay. But it doesn't matter that he sucks. He has OP perks. Alright, there's one. There he is again. Teabagging. I just wanted to throw that in there. He got rid of God Palette. He wants me to chase him. That's why he teabags. I'm not falling for it. I'm smarter than that. So I do the right thing and I stop this gen rush. I, after a pretty short chase, I get her. This girl gets greedy. And both of them are on the hook again. Both on death hook. And there's still four generators left. Four. Two people on death hook. Another guy hooked. So I smack her away. And she wisely uh, maneuvered over this way. So instead of taking the injured one, I figured I'm going to go after him. There's still three generators left. I still got pretty good progress going. That's why I failed. Look at this. He's teabagging again. Like want me to chase him. So they're like, alright. I'm gonna stop this generator because I'm not stupid. Now I didn't tunnel her to death. She unwisely went for the gen and I still got punished for it because one minute is too fucking long. I can understand 20 seconds, 30 seconds, but one fucking minute is too fucking long. Then I see why he's a bitch. So metal man, now there's two gens left. Alright. Another metal man. Oh Yay me. That's her third uh, fuck up and she was rewarded for it. So now it's the end of the game. I hate this guy's guts. He's been teabagging me the whole fucking game. He dead hearted but I launched perfectly and finally got him. Now I'm doing my own version of teabag. Now, this would have went really bad if he also had decisive strike, like his friends. Because he gets unhooked. She don't have borrowed time, surprisingly. So he either had the strike or he missed it. What was his name? So I brutaled when I literally should have won that game. The overpowered perks does it. Alright, what was his name? 89. Okay. He didn't have D-Strike. Yeah, that's the first game. I agree, buddy. Alright, so this is the second game. And this time I played really well. I, the game lasted a while. And I really think I deserved a pip right here. Because uh, I got a lot of hooks. I got a lot of traps. People got trapped a lot. Got a shit ton of hooks. I wasn't, let, I wasn't proxy camping or near the hooks. But guess what? Since I didn't refine them right away and they healed up. You know, I'd injure multiple survivors, you enter multiple survivors, and then guess what happens? Eventually one or two of them is going to heal while you're chasing the other one. You're only one person. I cannot stand that mechanic. If they heal themselves, you get penalized for it. 
How the hell do you stop it? There's no stopping it. It's fucking stupid. That's the dumbest thing ever. So I make him think I'm going this way. And I don't. I'll go this way instead. And these guys are just as toxic as the last group. But their perks aren't near as toxic. So it helped. It helped a lot. I'm hoping he runs into my trap right here. But he doesn't. He didn't hug the wall like most survivors do. He's in a perfect spot though, where I can't get him. I didn't hear that music till I was in the middle of fucking picking him up. So yeah, this is what killers go through on a regular. Alright, so I'm going around here and... Oh... I get pallet stunned. Nice one, Dwight. That was weird. Just the hit scan on this is so fucking weird for some reason. And I don't understand why I can't fucking keep track of them in my eyesight. It's like the fucking... You can't fucking follow them with your eyes. The controls are so fucking clunky. On console. That wasted a lot of time for me though. But still, we're in pretty good shape. We still got a hook. I can't get out. But in my opinion, this was a good game for me. I wasn't tunneling anybody or anything like that. And, um... It's like... I don't know what to do.
guys play toxic, I play toxic back. How? In bloody hell did they get past this? I can't get past it. Better watch out for his traps. This is a trapper. A knickknack patty whack. Bastards. How did he get out of all that? Goodbye.
I lost Chase, for real. Unbreakable. Yeah. <laughs> Another unbreakable? Wow, you're good. so toxic brutal a fucking brutal this game is so fucking trash and stupid oh she was picked up I thought she already used her unbreakable This game is really fucking trash. For killer, I mean, there's just too many fucking... It's at the lowest point for killer that it's ever been. Like, to pip, you literally have to be good enough to not let them gen rush you. Toy with them. Because you gotta leave for an entire fucking minute. A minute is long enough to do like two generators for survivors if there's multiple people. Three, in fact. You can't fuck with that person after they've been hooked for an entire minute. And if you're even in the proximity, like they bum rush you on the hook, I mean, you're not gonna leave. Then you don't pit for that. Then you got these fucking overpowered fucking perks that you can't fucking counter. Like, if you hit them before minutes up, they're gonna be able to D strike you at any time. Any survivor can. Then they got Medal of Man, which is overpowered as shit. It's worse than fucking D-Strike. So, really, what can you do? This is a bad state. There is no balance to this game. Once you get in higher rank, they all have these perks. Uh, I, last match, I seen two Medal of Mans. D-Strikes. Adrenaline. I mean, how many second chances are they going to give these motherfuckers, man? You see what I can do with just one person having fucking Medal of Man and, you know, Adrenaline and D-Strike. I literally looped the killer for five fucking generators. Or he was fucking with me for five fucking generators and I still didn't die until the very fucking end when he face camped me with no head. So I had a really good game. I don't know how many fucking hooks I got. I got, uh, three... Four, five, six, seven. I at least got eight hooks and three kills, and I still did not pip. And why? Why is that? What the fuck? I wasn't even close to pipping. Holy shit.
injured injuries healed well you can't fucking unless you tunnel the person that's on the hook which you can't tunnel neither because then you're gonna lose points for this category or wait is it this shut up I'm busy talking shut up shut up, yeller okay so I, I didn't lose many points for this because I wasn't near them but as soon as I'm not near them they heal up and that's expected you should not get penalized for people fucking healing you can't tunnel everybody and if you do you're gonna lose because the mechanics don't work that way the mechanics if you tunnel somebody they're gonna de-strike you so that person's gonna get healed no matter what the man this game's fucked dude I would only play it if you're a fan of it at this point it's at the lowest point for real you cannot it makes it near impossible just to one pip. I've been on six one forever. And it's not like I'm having bad games neither. I can wreck their sh I can get a 4K in Brutal. What the fuck is Dead by Daylight fucking thinking? It don't make fucking sense. You cannot fucking just make it so you lose a lot of percentage because people heal themselves. They're going to fucking heal themselves unless you fucking... I'll try face camping. Then they can't heal themselves. I'll just kill one at a fucking time. I will get proximity to the survivor, but it won't be 31%. Let's see what face camping can do. Good God, they're making you plays. Like, alright, here's how you pit. <clears throat> Once you get in the red ranks, you have to literally hook the survivor, get in proximity for them to get a, uh, get a rescue, go back, Smack them down so they can't heal, of course. Don't even touch the other survivor or they're going to heal. Then you got to wait one minute. Pick them up. Better have a stopwatch. Throw them back on the hook. Rinse and repeat until there's one generator left and hopefully your no-ed carries you through the rest of the game. Because they just want you to toy with survivors at this point. They want you to let them go. But if you let them go, then they heal up. What the fuck? 